to make a rubber stamp effect, first make your stamp, select all the layers and convert them into a smart object. Rotate it to the angle that you want and now add a layer mask to this layer. With the foreground colors set to black and white, go to Filter, Render and Clouds and that gives a random effect. Hold the Alt or Option key down as you repeat that filter for a tighter effect. You can use the Dodge tool to brighten it up to reveal more of the layer and hold Option or Alt to get the Burn tool temporarily to hide the layer where you paint. To make a blurring effect, select the layer and go to Filter, Blur and Motion Blur. And about 15 pixels works at this size. But that's rather too strong. Select the mask that comes with your filter, fill it with black, and now in the Properties panel you can reduce the density of the mask to increase the strength of the effect. Finally, change the mode of this layer from Normal to Multiply to allow the underlying texture to show through. You can vary the strength of the fading by selecting the Layer Mask, bring up the Levels command, and now you can change the density of that mask by dragging the slider to the left and to the right. Because it's a smart object, you can change the content at any time by double-clicking it. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to this channel.